Hey, hey, what is up, collectors? Diego here to take you on another sports cars detour. Ah, yeah, this detour here, we're going to be looking at my card room. Yeah, the card room is what I lovingly call common base sports cards. And um, it's out here in the garage, a room that I built. It was actually for my son at one time. Uh, he moved out, and uh, I took over the room and made it my card room. It's not that big, but um, it's fun to be in, <laughs> you know. Um, anyway. Uh, one of the viewers uh, was looking at one of the old videos and I had to go back and reflect on, you know, or go back and watch the video and say, you know, answer his question um, that he had or answer his comment. And then I just thought, you know what, I cleaned up the room not too long ago. So I figured uh, I could show it off now. It's my progression video. And from that video number one, I got a lot more boxes in this thing now. I definitely became a hoarder over the last three, four, five years, six years, or whatever it was. So anyway, let me get to it. Um, right here, uh, you can see I'm out in the garage. There's my treadmill, some other stuff. But I'm going to flip the camera around. That way we can open the door and see what's uh, coming in or my card room, a.k.a. Common to Base Sports Cards, a.k.a. Sports Cards Detour Studios, a.k.a. The, I, the man cave, a.k.a. I don't know what else, but let's just flip it around. All right, guys, so we open it. We get, we get to the door here. Uh, I'm kind of real close up on it. But uh, we get to the door here, and as you can see, ooh, see if we give us some light. As you can see here, I have a Philly sign. I got this. We went to New York one time, and... Uh, I found my name. Really rare to find a, something with my name on it. And then Sports Cars Detour there. And uh, we're going to open the door and check out the room. So we're going to go in here. Turn off the flash there. And I'll give a little spin around of the room. But I'll start from this corner here. Kind of work my way around. It's a really small room. Oh, there's a lot of different stuff that I picked up. I would say over the last seven years, <laughs> I've picked, I've accumulated quite a bit of stuff. Let's see if I can move back some <laughs> without falling. So that's basically the man cave right there. I get a little bit into the specifics. We'll start over here. Got some Phillies bobbleheads. <clears throat> Placido Polanco, Ryan Howard. And I got two Ryan Howards. One was my wife's, and I got Charlie Manuel back there behind the hat. I don't know if you can see it, but got a few of those from the games we went to. Uh, ticket signed by Ruben Amaro. And we used to have a minor league or an independent Atlantic League team called the River Sharks. Had some of their stuff. Here's a cool little thing that my mom got me. It's a um, Heinz Field. A little replica of that. There's me and Jerome Bettis. Back here I have my uh, my Softball League Iron Man Award. <laughs> Sandlot League Ironman Award. That's because I would play like all the softball games. Some more Jerome Bettis stuff right there. A little Steeler Town here. A little bit of Mike Trout stuff that I collect. Um, so I like getting stuff that it's on the box, like the blaster boxes and stuff like that. Of course, Tops Big Leagues, they have the the cutout, but some tins and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. I got this in an auction. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but. Yeah, Nolan Ryan, plaque holder, Will Myers. Um, oh my gosh, Top Living Set card. There's a Frank Howard there. And Brooke Robinson. Of course, there's the Philly Fanatic. 
This white tiger is actually my son's, but I keep it there. <laughs> I keep it there. I got a card game back here for the Phillies. A baseball card game. If we go down here, and there's a bunch of books. You see the surf detergent books, a baseball almanac, some history about baseball. Of course, there's cards on there. And then we got some binders. All the way down at the bottom there, there's the Ryan Sandberg binder. And then over here, got some more empty boxes here that I kept the Topps Big Leagues uh, players on there. And plus, these two Topps 2009 boxes I really liked. I call them cereal boxes because they're like the little cereal boxes, but there's a Mickey Mantle on that one. And a Brooks Robinson. I mean... Jackie Robinson. I said Brooks Robinson. A little tin there from Johnny Unitas. Cool little baseball thing there. Some old school video games. PlayStation 2. Still love my PlayStation 2. It's right there. Inside the house I moved on, but out here I still play the, the old game. There's my computer. And of course there's all my little toolboxes. My toolboxes are stacked up underneath of there, and then I got boxes and boxes and boxes. Not all these boxes are full of stuff. Um, some boxes I'm sorting now, so if they have a label, they're kind of half full, or maybe they are full. Unless they have like a blue, a blue label and it says full, then it's full. <laughs> but I got a bunch of boxes that I got, uh, just different things. Got some boxes in this ottoman here. Just boxes everywhere. And I got some more boxes down there. These are 5,000 count. These are all baseball boxes. Right now, I'm putting my collection into um, grouping it by brand. Like, these are all Bowman cards. Right now, that's all Donruss cards, and that's all Topps cards, and so on and so forth. So, um, if I'm not getting you dizzy, we'll go over here. We'll look at some stuff on the wall. Got some figures up there. Different players. Like sometimes people give me stuff that's sport related. And they're not really too key on who I collect. So I just get them. But like things like this. Jerome Bettis I got myself. And I picked up that. Um, Terry Bradshaw. This one here I actually won at an auction. A local auction thought that was pretty cool it's uh bobby hall and brett hall then we got some ryan howard stuff that autograph right there is from jay johnstone i gotta remember to put a picture in that we got uh bobby abreu's hall of fame night little poster then the start ryan sandberg's all the way up in there to this corner this is basically a ryan sandberg corner Got a fat head of um, Ben Roethlisberger. Kind of sprinkle in the stuff. <laughs> There's some of my autographs. My TTM autograph. My um, on-card autograph. There's me um, pointing at Ryan Sandberg's um, parking lot plaque. There's his uh, baseball that I got signed. And there's actually him signing the ball. And there's me getting it. <laughs> then we got some Roberto Clemente stuff that I just showed off not too long ago. That I just got up a nice plate and stuff like that. So, And then this little um, pin set that actually has Roberto Clemente in there. Sorry about the glare there. But what can I do? <laughs> so that's all pretty cool stuff. Then you go down here and I got some unopened... Um, blaster boxes that'll be open soon enough <laughs> after I get done some other stuff I might do some more of my breaks and uh, a lot of people commented on the uh, wax wall that I used to have where I had all the my shelves like that had just wax um, products on it or unopened products and here I have uh, but these two um, shelves are just um, unopened stuff 
Now, like 1988, <clears throat> sorry, 1988, 1989, 1990 stuff, like the wax packs, kind of like this stuff here. I have those in a tub underneath of the, down on one of the shelves, and I'm not going to pull that out. Um, sometimes you'll see some of these cards in, in videos. These are just cards that I pulled, um, that I either got from breaks. I separate them out, you know, one, one thing or another. Each one has a different number. I got a lot of hockey cards. I got into hockey, um, getting the hockey breaks. I had, I'm having fun with them. There's some more unopened packs there. <clears throat> then we come over here and we got just more cards that are in those holders and I got more cards in, in boxes and just random stuff is on this shelf here. Now this right here is my throwback break box. Um, yeah, I mentioned it probably times before. Like I said, my the, the card room name I called Common Base Sports Cards. I used to make a throwback break box that had baseball cards from the 80s, uh, 80s, 90s, um, 2000s, 2010s, and now I can say 2020s and yesterday's packs. <laughs> But basically, I take packs from uh, these sh this shelf here and fill it into there and then make a break out of it with one of the blasters. So it's usually pretty fun. There's my Allen Iverson right up there, some micros. And then we get up to here to uh, the shelf where I just, it's like my display. Uh, basically a shelf of a bunch of different cards. Rick Shue was uh, one of my TTMs. That's like my second TTM. That I've gotten. You got Ty Van Poppel autograph right there. Pretty cool. Jimmy Rollins, a lot of Mike Trout up there. Uh, Phillies when they won the World Series. The Afterglow. There's spring training from when I went to that spring training game. Um, then we come over here, and these are like my graded uh, cards. Got the Griffey. That I'm sure I've shown plenty of people. Got a lot of Ryan Sandberg up there. The rookie cards. I need my Opeachy version. And then we go down. We got Will Myers, Joel Embiid. And I got this nice picture of Jim Tomei, one of my favorite Phillies. Um, who wasn't on the Phillies for very long. So we come down here. We got a Michael Franco little coin there. 76ers pride. Got a Mickey Moore and Beanie. Let's see if I can shine a little bit. No, that light ain't gonna work. Maybe if I turn on the flash. Bam. Alright, so I got a Mickey Moore and Beanie. Some TTMs. Not that I got. Uh, one of my friends gave me some of those TTMs there. But the Mickey Moore and Beanie is autographed. Then a Scott Rowland autograph picture. I run a group on Facebook called the Sports Club. Um, the Collectors Club, and now it's called the Sports Cards Collectors Club because people keep on asking me stuff. And one of the uh, collectors in there um, gets si stuff signed by Dwight Gooden, uh, and uh, Dwight Gooden uh, wrote to me, said, keep up the good work with the Collectors Club, Doc Gooden. That's pretty cool. So I appreciate that. There's Ben. There's me. Got in the newspaper for playing some hoops by myself. I was trying to lose some weight, so I was playing. There's Carson Wentz, no longer with the Eagles, but he's in that thing there. <laughs> then I got Sharky, or Finley, from the Camden River Sharks. There's Big Ben behind him. A Roberto Clemente picture. Then we got Bryce Harper, who I jumped on the bandwagon with ever since he got to the Phillies. And this this card here has Ryan or this pack here has Ryan Sandberg, and the next one has Ryan Sandberg as an All Star. So that's my rack pack. There's a Mickey Mantle card. Um, don't know much about that card. I just like it. Kind of faded though. Um, here we got my big three for the Phillies. Uh, we got uh, Ryan Howard, Chase Utley, and Jimmy Rollins. And I need to get a bobblehead of uh, Chase Utley. But I have a Ryan Howard bobblehead. I got a Chase, uh, Jimmy Rollins. I need that Chase Utley for the middle. But there's some other stuff. 
like uh, Richie Ashburn ball. This ball right here was when we went to Florida. Uh, my girlfriend at the, uh, she got me the um, thing to let us know we were going. Dickie Knowles autograph. Here's some uh, at that spring training game. Got Cole Hamill's signature. Um, this was Ben Revere. And I forget this guy's name. <laughs> uh, there's some Philly stuff up there. Um, here's a gnome. And then the, this one right here. I, I had to go and ask... Um, Oh my God, his name is, is slipping my slipping my brain. Ground Chuck. I had to ask Ground Chuck about this. I asked. I got this in an auction, and I asked them, "Is that Andre Dawson's autograph?" And he said, "One hundred percent." There's some other autographs on here that I really can't make out. Not sure who's on there, who's not. I should get that checked out, but it was at a it was in an auction, and I won it. And they didn't even show that Andre Dawson signature. It just so happened that I I happened to see it. Up here, I have this thing that I made. It has the baseball field. It has the greatest Phillies. I have Chuck, or my favorite Phillies, or who I would put as my, uh, or was it? No, it was like my strongest team based off of the players that play for your team. I put Chuck Klein, Richie Ashburn, Jason Worth. Now, this was like if I wanted to put a team together. Um, Mike Schmidt, Jimmy Rollins, Chase Utley, Ryan Howard. Then we got Steve Carlton. Over here, we have Pat Burrell and Shane Victorino. Mike Lieberthal. And I put in Matt Stairs. <laughs> uh, sometimes I switch that up, but right now that's my lineup right now. Uh, it was for a, a long time video response, and I can't remember exactly what I was trying to do there. Uh, here I got a Mike Schmidt autograph, and then I put a bunch of cards with it on a ticket from an old spring training game. That was actually my girlfriend's sign. Uh, my girlfriend had got that signature, and I just she gave it to me, and I just put it up there. These are my son's wrestling uh, wrestling awards. My son, you wrestled, and uh, yeah, I think that's about it. You go to the terrible towel up there, straight from Pittsburgh, and uh, my stocking for the year round. Of course, I got the big TV to uh, watch videos on, and that's about it. So let's take one more quick little view of what is my card room. Let me see if I can zoom out. Nope. So we'll take a little photo from there. Then I'll try and go to the next corner. And you guys can see it that way. And then we go over to here. Uh, let me move that chair. <laughs> go over to here. You can see this way. And then you can see where the printer is. So that's my room. That is the card room progression video. Thank you for visiting Common and Bay Sports Cards. Until next time, get the hell out of my room. Get back to work!